Yeah, I, no, not yet, not yet. I just opened the doors uh, to get ready for our, us entering. But basically, this car has the Snap the Snapdragon cockpit platform, and this is uh, our world leading uh, premium tier cockpit uh, SOC based platform. So this will be rendering and, and running all of the cockpit applications like the eight displays, you know, the seven microphones inside, doing voice UI, doing DMS, OMS type of uh, applications. Uh, this is the Snapdragon Drive platform, and I think you already saw the demo in the other room. That's the Ada's platform. That's going to be doing kind of road uh, perception, recognizing the, the road conditions, other vehicles, traffic, um, and outputting all of that perception to the cockpit to render and display to the driver. And we're going to demonstrate that later. This vehicle also has a telematics box that's going to be in the trunk. And that's connected to all of the antennas, including 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi, on the rooftop in a smart antenna form factor. So once we get in, the car boots up. Uh, you can see all the lighting, interior lighting. It's doing a little face scan mm -hmm. to make sure it's uh, it is a recognized driver. I'll go up to my seat settings, my color settings, so the color change from. Yellow to blue. Cool blue was my profile. Um, you recognize me, so it knows all my, all my music preferences. Uh, you can play uh, what I want. Hey Snapdragon, play music. So you see, it prompted me saying, Oh, you want to use voice UI, but you only have the basic profile. Mm -hmm. Do you want to upgrade to a higher trip? And this is a, it's a use case that we think would be very useful for OEMs in the future. So I can go, so I say go to settings, here's a trim upgrade, I click on that, and you can see we're currently on the value package. And that does not have voice UI, has you know, kind of basic functionality. There's a premium package that has in-car communication, it has surveillance, it has you know, driver monitoring, voice control, and that's the one we're gonna get. So if I hit, just hit buy, mm -hmm. it has all my wallet information stored in the cloud, you know, securely authenticated with on car to cloud platform mm -hmm. and I can just make a very easy payment press pay so now that's activated and then it's telling you okay what did you get you got additional hardware and software capabilities unlocked in real time mm -hmm. you know, with a very easy online process hey Snapdragon what time is it it is fine. So now you can see the, the voice UI has been unlocked by you know, a 30 second operation. And that, I think that's something OEMs in the future can really appreciate this type of use cases, unlocking new features on the fly for new additional revenue streams. So with that, let's uh, get on the road, press drive. So this is a pre-recorded downtown San Diego video track. Um, the video feed, as well as the GPS coordinates are fed into the ADAS box that we talked about up front. Mm -hmm. So that ADAS box is taking this video downtown San Diego setting. Mm -hmm. And then, hey Snapdragon, navigate through Snapdragon Stadium. Navigating to 2020. So once I turn that on, it has all the typical routing information showing in the cluster. And then it's prompting me, do I want to see my ticket? Yes. So it knows that I'm going to a stadium, I'm attending a game because my user profile, my wallet is in the cloud and it recognizes that with the vehicle going towards that direction, it's prompting me, you have a ticket, do you want to get parking passes? And this is another convenience feature where the combination of the local vehicle positioning with the local hardware and the user behavior combined with the cloud setting of user preferences, wallet, calendar information, payment, we can facilitate this convenience feature. And that's another revenue stream for the OEM, another convenience you know, um, benefit for the user. So we're gonna go get that, and now you get the ticket, get to the stadium, you do not have to wait.